So what's going on fellas? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Grizz. Today we're going to be taking a look at a discussion video for Black Ops 4 Zombies. In particular, Perk Vapors. Now we know PHD might be an option here. We haven't seen it for a while, but in Black Ops 3 there were some alternatives. Drop a like on today's video if you enjoyed the discussion, or if you just learned something. Subscribe if you're new, and let me know in the comments section if you're new to the channel. Try to welcome everybody that I can, and hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizzViolent, if you'd like to see PhD Flopper return to Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now the most obvious thing is that it's called PhD Flopper. The gameplay that you're seeing is of Ascension in Black Ops 1. I will be featuring some Black Ops 3 gameplay in here to kind of dive into these points a little bit. But for the most part, Black Ops 1 gameplay is what you're going to be seeing here in Ascension because this is where PhD Flopper is available. Now it is available in Black Ops 2, but we haven't seen it at all in Black Ops 3. There are two gobble gums in particular that create the effect of this. The first one is called Danger Closest, which allows you to not take any explosive damage at all. And the second is Slaughter Slider, where you get the explosive damage behind you on the slide. The mechanics that we need to talk about is Flopper in particular, because in Black Ops 1 movement we have diving, in Black Ops 4 movement we have sliding that's going to be relatable to Black Ops 3. So we can assume that the Black Ops 4 movement system will be the same in Zombies as it is in multiplayer. So noting those two facts, we need to talk about what it's going to be called. The dive equals Flopper, so what does the slide equal? It doesn't equal Slider. So there's an effect, there's a cause and effect that's happening here. With diving we have flopping, with sliding we have somewhat of streaking effect or friction. So let's talk about the Black Ops 3 gobble gum called Slaughter Slide. This auto activates when sliding, you have 6 activations. And this creates 2 lethal explosions by sliding. It does shoot out grenades that do explode. One explodes right away and one shoots out ahead of you and explodes to protect you. So you have quite a range of explosion that's occurring and it does shoot ahead of you versus an effect that's happening behind you where you would think that the slide trailing which we're talking about this effect of a streak or friction happening would occur but that's not how Black Ops 3's take is on it we may have something different happening here in Black Ops 4 so making a note of this in this entire video we can maybe come to an agreement in the comment section below on what we think this should be in Black Ops 4 because we have the sliding that's returning in Black Ops 4, is it going to be like we had in Black Ops 3? Or is something going to change with PhD Flopper? I would like to see the classic return, man. Bring it back. The reason I like PhD Flopper so much on Ascension, the Black Ops 1 map, is because you have this huge area that you can train zombies in. Where you had the catwalk in Doris, this is an expanded catwalk and you have so much more room to work with. It makes zombies a lot more fun, especially when you don't need Jug right away. With PhD Flopper, that's all you had to get, and you basically had to only unlock one door to get here from the spawn, and you can have all this fun. Subtract the fact that I have upgraded pistols, you can still use PhD Flopper, the dive in its full entirety, by getting to this area. So, I really enjoy Ascension for that reason alone. It gives me a chance to get to higher rounds. And that's what I love so much about PhD Flopper is it's a perk that really gives you many assets and improves just diving in general. So whereas diving would take you a while to get back up and zombies would swipe you down really fast, you have that explosive damage to give you some time to just get out of there. But on the low low fellas, the problem that we have moving from Black Ops 3 to Black Ops 4 is that Slaughter Slide, the Black Ops 3, the grenades that shoot out are not quite like the explosion that occurs when you land a dolphin dive in Black Ops 1. The issue here is that it shoots out grenades and constantly does that, so we don't want that movement, the fluid movement that Black Ops 3 has perfected in Zombies, because you know you love that slide. We can't be shooting out explosive damage every single time just by picking up a perk. That would make you god tier. So there's got to be some leeway. So where we move in this part of the discussion is talking a little bit about perk vapors, but we gotta talk about gobble gum. So let's talk about Perk Vapors first. Is it spelled V-A-P-O-R-S, like Vapors, like Vape Nation? Or is it Vapors, V-A-P-O-U-R-S? I'm still not sure which direction we're taking with Vapors on the spelling, but that doesn't matter, okay? We're talking about Perk Vapors. Combinations that work together, question mark, creates an effect, that's what we know. We know that the combos grant enhancement additions, but when they're combined together, will that give you some sort of extra ability? 
Speed Cola, and Stamina Up. Combine those together, are we going to get something cool? I'm not sure. But this leads us into Gobble Gums. Meanwhile, I'm going to showcase to you in Black Ops 3 a Gobble Gum called Danger Closest. And this Gobble Gum has zero explosive damage that happens to you. It lasts three full rounds. And I'm going to be using the rocket launcher for this so you guys can see this in Black Ops 3. So that's where we get our zero explosive damage is from an actual Gobble Gum. But what was the intention of Gobble Gums from Jason Blundell? He did some DLC 5 interviews afterwards, and this is sort of what I've gathered. Introducing an opt-in consumable that was not forced was the intention of Gobble Gums. He needed something outside of the game that gave you an ability that was based off the perk bottle system. But where this experiment fell flat by Treyarch, in my opinion, was the actual Gobble Gum system itself, because the idea was to create replayability, serving a new set and palette each time you played, and this was supposed to be to enhance the replayability for streamers. So if you're going to stream zombies, this was the endless loop that allowed you to do this in a fun way that would keep people here watching, but we know that wasn't the case. It was an experiment that worked sales-wise, but how was it actually perceived by the community? Nine times out of ten, when you ask somebody this, they're, you're just going to hear crickets. Or they're going to say, I don't know. I don't know. It wasn't that great, I guess. Or you're going to have people that loved it. They loved killing time. They loved getting max ammos, phoenix ups to help their friend in doubt. When the game was going to be actually lost, these gobble gums gave them a chance to continue on. They didn't lose all their progress. So there is benefits. There's pros and cons to gobble gums. The heavy debate is, was it done right? And if we come back to my opinion on this, it's, is your game still replayable all the way until your next game? When Treyarch made Black Ops 3, are people in the community still just as happy to be playing that game as they did when it first launched? And the answer is easy. It's no, it's not. There were fundamental flaws with Black Ops 3, the weapons being locked behind a paywall. Uh, you didn't get base versions of the weapon to try them at your will whenever they launched. If you're a season pass holder, it didn't matter. You weren't part of this unified group that got all the weapons unless you actually spent money. It's easy enough to argue that yes, weapons were added to the box, new DLC weapons that were introduced to zombies, right? The mystery box did contain majority of those weapons to keep zombie players happy. But there's just new mechanics that need to be added into zombies to keep it fresh. You can't just add a new weapon in the box and expect that to be good enough. It's literally a problem of ranking up. There's no reason to rank up. It's not very fun. There's not fundamental things that you can earn in the game that you have, you own. Your character becomes better because you're special and you've leveled up to become special. But there's new mechanics that Jason Blundell talked about that do relate to creative class and zombies. We know this as a loadout. You get to select your starting weapon. We're going to be able to select our special equipment. I did host a poll about this, and a lot of you guys tend to agree that a grappling hook should be this for the Master Prestige reward. But the group that disagreed with this is loud enough, but I know that they want something as a Master Prestige reward in Black Ops 4 Zombies. So what I'm going to propose to you is this. What about monkey bombs? You know how difficult they were to get in Black Ops 1? They got even worse, it seems, in Black Ops 3 to get monkey bombs from the box. So why not have that as an earnable item that we can put as our special equipment? In fact, it does replace some of our special equipment, that L trigger up there. So why not make that something you can start with? Something you earn as you rank up, and once you've reached 10 prestiges, maybe you're just able to get that by being awarded for being a good player. So this is what I wanted to talk about with you guys, is something along those lines. But we're going to have a special weapon as well that upgrades as we rank up. So I'm saying that while we upgrade the special weapon, we have a starting weapon, but we also have a special weapon. Not sure what uh, the difference is here. We'll have more details next month. It's about three weeks away when we're going to hear some stuff. The event I'm referring to is Comic-Con, July 15th through the 17th. Mark your calendars. That's when we'll have more zombies information coming in. But we're going to be able to assign our loadout with perk vapors. It seems like we'll be able to choose which perks will be played on the map, 10 in which we'll be able to choose from. I am proposing maybe that PhD flopper is going to be one of those. Let me know if you would like to see that return as well. And how would you like to see the differences in Black Ops 3 be changed to fit the slide better in Black Ops 4? Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. I'll see you in the next video. Filing out.